the top. Uh, again, I'm running late. Uh, I'm in a CPR course. And uh, literally, this is so important to us. I've got my timer set, and it's like one minute to run from the course down to here. Brandy has everything set up. I throw my apron, ready to rock and roll. It's a good job I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then I run right back up. So, again, not the most prettiest of days uh, out there. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cold, but it's spring. We're gonna get we're gonna get runs like this. We're gonna get beautiful days. We're gonna get temperate days we're going to warm days we're going to get rain we're going to get dry it's all going to happen it's a mixed bag of the transitional seasons spring and autumn uh that's going to happen and it's a perfect day to be you know, under the covers and snug just like roots do under the ground see how i segue in there seamlessly so we're going to talk about roots and again we started this week talking about kind of you know, what is a plant uh, and what are the three uh, primary parts of a plant? And it was uh, leaf, stem, root. We already did leaves yesterday. Um, and then we're going to move on to roots. And roots, they're probably the most misunderstood part of a plant, uh, simply because they're not seen. And, and it's that very, you know, old uh, adage out of sight out of mind kind of thing and yeah most people if you ask them about a plant they, they'd be able to tell you a plant has roots what exactly they do uh their purpose what they look like most people don't know they know that they you know most people have seen a picture of roots um and you know you've got uh, the ground, I grabbed a red instead of brown, so we're in Prince Edward Island this morning. Wonderful. <laughs> I've been to Prince Edward Island, it really is red. It's an incredible place. If you've never visited, uh, I recommend it. And the roots really do look like that. And every single plant uh, has some form of a root structure, even arrow plants where you don't see them, the tiny nubs. Uh, there's epiphytes, there's uh, fibrous and taproot, there's all different kinds. But all roots are the same, and I'm propagating uh, some spider plants, as I nearly always do. I nearly always have things propagating or growing, and there's a root system right there. So there's uh, four plants, and uh, as you can see, I'm moving them around because we got a few cameras going, ooh. <laughs> um, I'm moving these around, and let me just take one here. And I'll show both cameras, don't worry, because we, we, we're doing Facebook and Insta, and then we go to uh, YouTube. And I'm being gentle, but you don't have to be, you know, ridiculously gentle. They don't mind a little bit. And you can see they're long, and you can kind of see hairs on them all. But the most important point we're looking at is indeed the tip. So I know that can be hard to see with the background, and that's part, oh, look at that. That leaf's dead. See you later, leaf. Uh, <laughs> you knew I was going to throw it before I even <laughs> threw it. Stick you back in water. And so what happens? We're going to go right back to the uh, to the basics now. So ignoring all of this, we have a seed. Okay? And that can be any seed. It can be sunflower. It can be a tomato seed. It doesn't matter. It's a seed. Now, and we'll talk about this at a later date. But everything is connected in plants. I can't talk about leaves without talking about roots and the stem because everything pulls off something else. So like, I can't tell you how this finger works without talking about my arm, my brain, nerves, tendons, everything else. So everything is connected. There's nothing that's isolated. And in this, um, in this seed, there's a few important parts. But what we're going to talk about right now is there is a food storage uh, stack. So everything that that seed needs to begin life is contained in the seed. And it sends up a tiny little shoot with some leaves on it called cotyledons. But what we're talking about today is this. And it sends out a tiny tiny little root like I'm, I'm you can't even see it i'm doing this and it's smaller than that and that's called a radical which is a 
massive sounding name for something so tiny. It's not radical at all. It's a very tiny root. So I wasn't in charge of naming it. I would have called it an unradical. Uh, but they didn't have my opinion. <laughs> well played. Uh, anyway, not radical. That's what it's there for. It comes out of the seed as the seed code breaks down, the DNA triggers, and it goes boop, and it anchors into the soil and it penetrates into that lovely soft peat moss we've got, the soil we've got, um, and it immediately starts taking on board moisture, which, as we talked about, the leaves goes up here, goes into the stem, goes out to the leaves, and helps them with photosynthesis. So that is essentially what the root does. So the roots have three incredibly important roles. So we see a plant, and now we go much bigger than a seed, okay? Now we're gonna go to a full grown tree. We're gonna do an evergreen. I haven't drawn one yet this year, wonderful drawing. Uh, again, you know what? We're in Prince Edward Island. We have evergreens out. So we've all seen that. And there's me standing next to it. So it's a big evergreen. Okay. And that big evergreen has massive root system coming down. Okay. And what those roots are doing is as the tree is growing above the surface, and I think we've all witnessed the plant growing. We've all witnessed uh, uh, our tomatoes, our uh, annuals, our perennials, our house plants. We've all witnessed a plant growing. As it's growing up here, it's also growing down here. Everything is related. So those roots are going deeper and they're looking for new water and fresh nutrients and whatnot. And they're pulling that up and sending it up to the leaves. The leaves are firing the photosynthesis and the chloroplast, if you remember that. They're creating sugars. They're pushing oxygen out for me to breathe. That's why I'm hanging out with the tree. Hey, Mr. Tree. <laughs> and then they're pushing all of the sugars down to the roots. The sugar is food, it's energy, and that's making the roots go even deeper looking for water. As it's doing that, when those roots are doing that, that's the primary purpose is water and nutrition to feed the tree, to feed the leaves so that the leaf can develop more food. But as they're doing that, they're also anchoring into the ground. They're not digging the soil out. The soil is tight. It's like my fist. And then the root pushes in. Now it's got a grip and it's holding it just like I'm holding my finger there. So that tree, that plant, the, you know, this, uh, I don't even know what this is, but this plant next to me, it doesn't even have a tag, is anchored in place, but it can't move. And the roots are holding it there. So not only are they doing uh, the process of, of breaking down the water and the nourishment to feed the plant, they're also giving it the support. And this is especially important. You know, obviously these guys have no support, but they're not outside. No wind is gonna hit them. I'm giving them everything they need when they get big enough, we will move them into soil. But they're in a very controlled environment. Outside, the tree doesn't have that. It has whatever nature is going to throw at it. It's going to have a 19 degree day like Sunday, and it's going to have a minus 20 degree day like today. It's going to have the wind howling at it, and it has to be able to stay up. Now, the stem, which we'll talk about tomorrow, is a very important part of that, but the roots are what do it. I think we've all seen on windy days the treetops blowing like this. Well, the roots are what's holding it in the ground. If that was too top heavy, away it would go. Think of the foundation of a building, a skyscraper, a house, whatever. We put it into the ground to anchor it. Exactly what this tree, this tomato plant, whatever we're growing is doing, that's what the roots are. Then we go to the third part of a root system. Now, again, all roots are different, just like all leaves, a uh, spruce needle, uh, a maple leaf. Exactly the same process, very, very different looking. They don't work the same. A cactus, a succulent, or a spider plant, they all have leaves. They're all very different. They're all designed for the environment. These plants have evolved over vast, vast amount of millennia. To be in the, that's why a, a cactus can survive where we can't survive in the desert. Um, and they have very, very specialized parts for doing that. That's what these do. 
Well, it's the same with the roots. Again, we only, we, we only really know what we see, what we can observe. Being a horticulturist, I've ripped tons of plants apart. I've explored them. I've checked our root system. I've grown them like this so I can see root system. Uh, I, bring, I bring plants like this uh, and a big succulent I've got so people can touch and feel the roots. And they're very specialized. And a lot of plants can also store a certain amount of water and a certain amount of nutrients in their root system. So that's why we can see our house plants, okay? Very specialized, very babied. They don't get watered every Sunday at noon. They're like, can't handle it. And they go into drought. We have this tree outside. It hasn't rained. Nobody's watering it. It's in the middle of the forest. We haven't had a drop of rain in three weeks. And the tree's like, I'm loving life. Those roots can be so deep that they're in water or they're so deep underground the sun isn't able to evaporate the water and they're holding it. So if we look here, and again, I'll pull out one of my cider plants. So the tip here is what's going through and it's looking and it's finding the new stuff. And then as we go up, you can see the root gets fatter and thicker. And it's doing that, it's holding energy up here. And that's for an emergency. I'm not getting enough water. I'm not getting enough nutrition. Uh, oh, some of my roots got damaged. Big windstorm, and it pulls this way. Some roots have torn off. Great. I'm going to send out more roots. I'm going to try and fix the tree. We get a cut. Our bodies try and fix it. It's doing the same thing. While it's doing that, it may not be able to produce. If that's an apple tree, it may not be able to produce apples because it's too busy fixing the injury. And all of that is going to be stored somewhere in the root structure. Now, sometimes a very identifiable one uh, are much more adept at it. I think everybody knows uh, what a dandelion is. Dandelions, you can rip the whole top of the plant off, flower, every single leaf, everything, throw it away. Okay, hopefully compost, but get rid of it. All that's left under there is a root. But if you've ever seen a dandelion root, uh, they are an incredible top root, and they basically look like a parsnip or a carrot. All of that is a massive storage battery. So uh, the dandelion uh, basically goes, oh, you pulled that off, no problem, I got the energy, boom, and it sends out a new one. You pull that off, boom, it sends a new one. As you deplete the photosynthesis by ripping off the leaves, you're not feeding this, it's going to get smaller and smaller, but it is an incredible energy storage. Other plants don't have it. You cut down a spider plant, and not have enough energy to send up everything it needs. So roots are an essential part. And I can't say they're the most essential because they can't grow without the leaves. The leaves can't do their job without the roots. So there's all kinds of ways they're playing. Everything needs everything in order to be healthy. Sure, you can take a root clipping and grow. You can take leaves and get root growth. But the leaf, if it doesn't develop roots, will, uh, will die. That root cutting, if it doesn't start developing leaves, it will die. So there's not, oh, leaves are more important than roots. We prefer leaves because of the aesthetic value, but we ain't getting that aesthetic without everything happening under the ground. That wraps us up on Roots. Uh, also, by the way, an amazing, amazing R&B band. If you don't know the Roots, check them out. Worth listening to. I love them. Uh, but that's a total segue. <laughs> I just want to give them a shout out because they're yeah. rad. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, that wraps us up on Roots. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about stems and trunks. And we're going to talk about all the fun stuff that happens there. Again, that we don't see. We see the aesthetic part. What's happening inside? Okay, have a wonderful day. Stay warm if you're in Calgary. If you're somewhere else where it is warm, ah, uh, yay. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye everyone.